Hi, I'm Cliff Samaniego from Google Play Games Business Development Team. Let's talk about Google Play Game Services sign-in best practices. First off, why should we care about signing users in? For users signing into Google Play Game Services, it's the first step in unlocking achievements, creating competition with leaderboards, saving a player's game state, and opening up multiplayer game possibilities. For game developers, getting users signed in will allow you to utilize Play Games Analytics. If you're unfamiliar with Play Games Analytics, it's a near-zero analytics feature in the developer console that provides more insight into your player base and user engagement with games that will help measure overall business success. From these insights, you'll be able to assess the health of your game's business through performance highlights, understand business drivers through your game's active players, learn about retention numbers, and balance your in-game economy with sources and sinks. This, in turn, can help you better manage your game's mechanics and performance leading to higher game retention and monetization. Okay, so now let's look at sign-in flow best practices. There's three ways to integrate. First, an automatic sign-in upon game launch. Second, an automatic sign-in upon finishing the game tutorial. Third, feature a sign-in button prominently upon launching your game. Automatic sign-in on Game Start is the most effective sign-in option, and this is what we recommend. Here are some examples of good sign-in implementations. Clash of Clans by Supercell and Marvel Contest of Champions by Kabam. As you can see, after launching the game, Google Play Game Services will effortlessly walk the user th through the sign-in flow. Another interesting example of automatic sign-in is Racing Rivals by Glue. Not only does the game show auto-login or auto-sign-in upon game start, but it also provides a clear added value to the user for signing in. As you can see, the dialog box prompts the user to sign in and shows the value proposition of accessing the game on all devices. Adding automatic sign-in upon finishing the game tutorial is another effective way to ensure high sign-in rates. This is the best for developers who want their users to immerse themselves in game tutorial before asking them to sign in. This is a trade-off between letting the player get enticed by the game early and locking sign-in thereafter. A great example of this is Wonder Ball Heroes. The last way to implement sign-in is to have a prominently placed sign-in button on the primary splash page upon opening the game. Definitely avoid placing the login button behind a settings menu or buried elsewhere in your UI. Here's a few examples of how best to display the sign-in buttons within a game. Turbo Dismount by Secret Exit and Top 11 Be a Soccer Manager by Nordius are examples of good implementations. Let's check these out. No matter what sign-in flow you choose, you should always attempt a silent sign-in whenever the user starts up the app. This will make sure that if a user has signed into your, your game previously, they will be automatically signed in again as soon as they start your game. No dialogue or button clicking required. A good example is Bomb Squad by Eric Froming. Also, if you're going with the automatic sign-in flow, you should track and store whether or not the user has declined to sign in previously. If that's the case, then you shouldn't try to automatically sign them in upon opening the game again. You should still, however, add a sign-in button because you want to give them an opportunity to change your minds at a later time. Branding guidelines for Google Play Game Services iconography can be found here. In summary, there's three recommendations we have for sign-in best practices. First, adding an automatic sign-in upon game launch is our preferred method and one that will provide the highest sign-in rates. Second, add an automatic sign-in upon finishing the game tutorial. This will immerse users in the tutorial before asking them to log in. Third, feature a sign-in button prominently upon launching your game and avoid burying it behind menu screens. Now that you're armed with our sign-in best practices, go out there and get your users signed in.